Good morning. Um, thought we'd make another short video today to show you what's going on. As you can see, in the UK we're in November, but it's really, really sunny, which is really good because what it does is it charges up these panels. Um, I am interested you are in electricity generation on a boat, but um, anyway, you can see these panels have got these little mounts on so they can tip so you can point them into the sun which increases the electricity generation substantially um, so at the moment you can see the sun's over there so they're, they're generating about six and a half amps now that's enough to run a couple of laptops um, if that's what you're interested in or charge about you know three or four um, large phones um, you know you could watch TV off that that's that's a, a lot of power for you know everyday use you could oh, I know um, I don't do I don't have anything that uses much more electricity than that but um, here's Princess Leonard it's uh, one, of, one of the cats Princess hello no, she's very skitty. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, I was going to show you what I was going to do today. Um, uh, you see the lower portion of the boat. I'll try and get some in the sun to show you. Um, okay, this lower portion of the boat has to be blacked, which means it has to have a bituminous uh, paint uh, put onto it. Now, I'm, I'm not into... Um, I don't like wasting resources and things but if you do not paint the bottom of the boat um, every sort of four or five years or whatever it just rusts through eventually and the whole thing rots you know so you do have to do a certain amount of maintenance um, or it will just get destroyed um, now above the waterline you can do yourself which is what I'm going to be doing I've done the other side of the boat but this morning um, I'm going to start working on this side. It's very slow because the bituminous paint is incredibly thick, the stuff that I use. Um, so you have to start off, if you can see that very well, scratching off um, all the flaky paint um, all the way down to the end. Sorry, I'm a bit chilly this morning. It looks sunny, but it's really cold. Um, so, and then unfortunately for the rest of it, the boat has to be pulled out of the water um, which is quite costly. Um, it costs for about £300 upwards, um, depending whether you're going to do it yourself or pay a professionals and whether you're going to hire pressure washers and things like that. But it only has to be done every four years, and ours is a bit overdue, so we need to get it done relatively soon. Otherwise, your boat will just rot from under you, and that's not a good idea. So, um, is there anything else... Yeah, it's just, uh, that's a little generator we have. That's a really good idea because the um, weather is so erratic in the UK that you cannot rely on your solar panels. So use them as much as possible. But sometimes if it's cold and grey and rainy, um, just a little generator like this does a great job. This is a really good one um, because you can see this here is a, that's a 12 volt cable so that comes out and you can connect it to the batteries which are in there see that so the 12 volt cable connects to to the battery so it keeps the batteries lovely and charged um, and then just here you can see it's got a normal normal plug socket so you plug your normal socket in it goes through the boat and um, gives you mains power inside and it's a sine wave generator and that's really important to remember if it doesn't generate a pure sine wave, your fine electricals will go cuckoo. So if you've got anything with a touch screen on it, it won't work properly. Um, you like your lap and your laptop touch pads on them, they go really uh, bizarre. All kinds of terrible things happen to your electronics, and um, I wonder about how much it damages them long term. So you really have to be careful of that. Um, but that's a good generator. They're, they're about that's about £280, but I know that seems expensive, but, um, you know, that's it. Once you've got that and the panels, you're done for electricity for life. You never have to pay another electricity bill. Just a little bit of petrol for the generator now, and again, it doesn't use very much. 
Okay. Um, so, anyway, I'll just let you a quick view of the scenery. To, oh, and look, there's Princess Leonard again. I hope you like cats, because we've got lots of cats. Um, so yes, one final shot of, just to remind you, or show you why I live out here. Alright, okay, thanks very much for watching, have a great day, and I'll uh, speak to you soon.